All right. Hey, first and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakwa Dash. <coughs> Excuse me. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, of whom I learn from, of whom we learn from daily. And a healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. You know, also having a good, healthy respect and fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That is the beginning of wisdom. All right, this is the brother Gabar Adama coming back at you, you know, with another quick hitter. Uh, coming off of, uh, you know, I just got home, so I know it's a little late, but whatever. You know, I hate this place. We got we to gotta do this, we got to do that, but, but whatever, man. And during to the end, as I said, Matthew 24 and verse 13, amongst other places, right? So lucky if you hear the puppy barking in the background, but oh boy. Uh, I got something to show you, and, and there's a reason why I'm going to show you this. You know, I might as well just go ahead and do it now. I'm going to show you this. All right, this place is absolutely disgusting. Yeah, everything's turned upside down. and But you got different groups. You got uh, 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 m a mumble, mumble rapping groups. Hebrew Israelite groups at that, that refuse to take their hat off while they're preaching and prophesying. Saying things that, which they are not, man. OK, yeah. And, you know, I, screw it. I'm gonna go ahead and say it is uh, that group Sakari. All right. And better yet, it was a uh, what's his name? Alazar. Right. Talking about high priest Arya. He said he was said that said that uh, uh, that uh, what was it that a transformer had more hope than him. Very, very distasteful, very disrespectful. And it was uh, honestly, it was it was disgusting. It was absolutely disgusting. Let me show you this right quick. Since we talk about Transformers and see, this was in the spirit. It's before I even heard the lesson. While I was at work, I was listening to his lesson. And excuse me if I'm rambling, you know, but it, it sort of pissed me off, man. GMO babies, right? No respect for your elders. Zero. He, he said that. I'm, I might even play it. I don't even know if I want to play it and hear it again. But check this out. Look at this. I can't make this up right here. Hold on. See that right there? On the right, that's a damn man. That's a damn man. That's See, that's Babylon for you, man. That's a man right there. This place is terrible. Hold on, hold on. Uh, Salaki, hold on, hold on. Let me pull out here, I don't want to wreck, you know? But that's a doggone man. Look at that. That is a damn man on the right. It's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Yep. Yep. That came out of his mouth. He said that has got more hope than high priest Aria. You know, and like uh, like the Apostle Gabar said in his video, you know, epistle earlier today, which was very, very edifying. You know, teaching us about, you know, the, the history and you know, just, uh, all kinds of different things we didn't know. I didn't I didn't know the man. But how dare you disrespect? How dare you disrespect him? Look at the works that he's put in, you know, from birth. He was born into this thing. Let's go here. Absolutely. Uh, you, you know, it's just uh, that that kind of disrespect, man. You really tempted you. How about Shimei Shai? Zero respect. Second Timothy three and verse 12. Uh, you know, like Apostle Ricard says, GMO babies, right? Second Timothy three and verse 12. Yay. All. Salakia, yea, and all that will live godly in Hamashiach, Yahawashai, shall suffer persecution. Verse four, uh, 13, but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Okay, but uh, verse 14, but continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom Thou has learned them. And indirectly, whether you believe it or not, you have learned from high priest Arya. You see? Whether you know it or not. Let's jump on down here. Verse 16. No. Oh, no. Verse 15. And that from a child thou has known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation. Through the faith which is in Hamashiach Yahawashai, all scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High Yahweh and is profitable for what? For doctrine, 
for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Okay? In what? In all righteousness. Speaking evil of, 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 a, of a man, of, of a high priest, Ariel, that you, you haven't even, you, you, you never even met the man. Okay? Unbelievable, man. Verse 17, that the man of the Most High may be perfect. Hmm? Thoroughly furnished unto all good works. All right? Unto all good works. So, let, hey, let me go ahead and show you. Let me go ahead and show you what he said. We'll go into it. The disrespect that Elder High Priest Arya, after his death, after his passing, is receiving. And it's mainly from guys who didn't even know the man. <laughs> you know? The disrespect is coming from individuals that didn't even know the man. And I'm here to tell you because I knew the man. I, he was one of my teachers, one of my elders, and I'm proud to say that wholeheartedly. When I first came to the school at 1 West 125th Street, in, the, in my humble opinion, I would say the number two teacher was Elder Apostle Tar, okay? And um, through the years, you know, and we, Elder Pastor always, always said it and still says it, you know, we got more understanding than Elder High Priest Arya, you know, Elder High Priest Shaw, you know. Now, we got more understanding in the, in the knowledge, in the truth, but that does that take away from their position, the position of sent to me by um, Elder Apostle Ramlab, right? And this is your favorite boy, Alizar. And listen to what he says about Elder High Priest Ariel. Mind you, this flash in the pan, because that's what he is, of nothing but a flash in the pan. Look that term up. This guy never met Elder High Priest Ariel. All the information he has of Elder High Priest Arya is secondhand. He never met him. He was never taught by him. But he feels the need to say what I'm about to play for you. So check it out. There is better hope for Zaya Wade than there is for Arya. Thus saith the Lord. So according to this madman, I call him the Mad Hatter. He's saying there's better <laughs> hope for a, 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 a tranny. You know what I mean by a tranny. Than Elder High Priest Arya. Well, he said Arya. But it gets worse. Check this out. Let me bring that back. Let me make sure I, I really lay that out. Yes, yes. Please bring it back. Please lay it out. There is more hope for Zaya Wade. There is more hope for RuPaul than there is for Aria. There you go. You see? You see that right there? He said it. He said RuPaul. He he, he said that uh, that devil, that thing that I showed you uh, in, in the uh, the video I captured earlier on in the day. Had more hope than high priest Arya. How how disrespectful, downright devilish, man. You know, disrespectful, distasteful. You know, uh, upside down, backwards. No, uh, uh, no respect, no respect, no. Uh, uh, it's just, oh boy. You know, shitty. It was just, it was a shitty thing to say. Revelation 14 and verse 13. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, right, blessed are the dead, which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, save the spirit that they may rest from their labors and their works do follow them. All right. Alazar or Alazar. Uh, you going off, man. You've been going off for the longest. Unbelievable. And I looked and behold, 
a white cloud, and upon that cloud, one set like unto the Son of Man, having the head of uh, Sal Sal Salakia, having on his head a golden crown, and his hand a sharp sickle. So you you tempting Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. The scripture also said, uh, uh, the one that offends one of his little ones. You see? That is, that's very offensive language, man. And, you know, and, and again, it was it, distasteful. And there's all kinds of adjectives I can put along with it. Again, downright shitty. Assholish. Excuse my French. You, you, you a prick, man. Luke 6 and verse 45. A good man, it's red letters. Now, you have a shot speaking. And again, I won't make this too long, but that sort of pissed me off. Luke 6 and verse 45. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart, which is your mind, bring it forth that which is good. An evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart, bring it forth that which is evil. For for of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak. You see, for the what? The abundance of the heart, the mouth speak. Isn't this the same guy? What did he say? I can't remember what he said. It, it is eluding me right now. We're going to keep going. Oh, man. He said something. I'll remember it in a minute. I think I had it written down. Matthew 15 and uh, Slakia, 11 and verse 15. I must be tired. And please excuse me. You know, but I'm going to get into this. That re it really did piss me off, man. These young, these young cats, man, they have no respect. They have zero respect. You know, they want to get it on this side. They want to get everything on this side. They want to they wanna be the man. They want to be this. They want to be that. When the scripture said the meek and the lowly, you know, you, you got to examine yourself whether you be a reprobate, man. Matthew 11, verse 15. He that have ears to hear, let him hear. But unto, uh, but, Salakia, but where unto shall I liken this generation? Hmm. It is like unto children sitting in the markets and calling unto their fellows and saying, we have piped unto you and ye have not danced. We have mourned, uh, uh, mourned unto you and ye have not lamented. See? Oh, yeah. They're, they're verse 18. For what? For John came neither eating nor drinking. And they say he hath a devil. You see? And it's the same kind of group. And there's many other groups. It's the same kind of group that would say something like that. Didn't the, didn't the scripture say that he was sent Elias? You see? And he did. And did he not send Elijah? Yes, he did. Okay, these were these were great men before us. And we learn from them and whether it be indirectly, we, we learn from them. These are great men that woke up after three days and a half. And you got the nerve. You got the nerve, the gall, if you will. To say something like that about high priest Arya. That that thing that I captured on camera has more hope than he does. You see. The son of man came eating and drinking, and they say, behold, a man gluttonous and a wine bibber. See, these same niggas are back, man. A friend of publicans and sinners, but wisdom is justified of her children. See? You see that? Then began he to upbraid the cities wherein most of his mighty works were done because they repented not. You see? Bitter words, man, all kinds of different things that has came out of his mouth and, you know, in his camp, if you will. But you see, he, well, he, he, he didn't remember uh, of whom he learned these things from. He didn't remember keep, to keep all the doctrine, the one doctrine. It's one, it's one doctrine. It's this one damn truth. It's one body. Matthew 19 and verse 28. And, and Yahawashai said unto them, Verily, I say unto you that ye which have followed me in the regeneration. See, you know, in certain books, they don't believe. Well, they say, was it Paul's writings? And I'm trying to remember what the hell he said that one time. Anyway, he said Paul's writings is wrong. Or John, uh, what did he say? John was going off. You, uh, please uh, correct me if I'm wrong. 
They said they've said all kinds of uh, damnable heresies, if you will. Verily, I say unto you that ye it's red letters now. Which have followed me in the regeneration when the son of man shall sit in, in the throne of his glory. ye also shall sit upon the twelve. The what? The twelve thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. OK, and there's names written on those gates. And I believe in Revelation it's names of the apostles. You see, you are tempting Yahweh by Shem Shai. Running that lip, man. I always got something to say about something. Titus 3 and verse 2. To speak evil of no man, but to, uh, uh, to be not brawlers, but gentle, showing all meekness unto all men. You see that? Meekness. Meek, the meek and the lowly. See, the head shall be the tail. But it's clear to see that these, uh, these other camps, all these other, there's a whole bunch of people. That, that are, uh, you know, having it, having it their way. Filling their own bellies rather than following the 100 percent pure doctrine. That was given to us from Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai through who? Through our elders and apostles. Verse three, for we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving diverse lust. And pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. Same niggas are back, man. Sakari. Hmm, that's we went into that before, haven't we? Verse 4. But after that, the kindness and love of our power, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, our, our savior towards man apparent, appeared. Salakia. Okay? These are the same men. There it go. That's what he said. Yeah, yeah, he said, uh, yeah, he, he's going to speak all these uh, words against high priest Ariah, right? But then he uttereth out of his mouth some, uh, I don't know, some months ago, I believe, that Louis Farrakhan is the leader of all black people. He said that. He said that. All right. I would put a video up, but there's no need. He said it. All you brothers know he said it. First Timothy Five and verse one, rebuke not an elder, but entreat him as a father and the younger men as brethren. You see? Verse two, the elder, uh, uh, let's see, I mean, let me skip down. Let's see, honor uh, the elder woman. You're supposed to teach uh, you, you, the younger sisters in, in all purity. Let's go on down here because there's something I wanted to get. Um, Now, she is a widow indeed, but he that, but, but she that liveth in pleasure, um, Salakia, there was something else I wanted to get out of that. Or maybe not. Please forgive me. Mm -mm -mm. Verse 10. Well reported of for good works. See that? No, nope, no, nope, that's, that's not what I wanted. Salakia, that. Let's keep going. Nope. That's, I just didn't want that. <whistles> yep, let's go here. Leviticus 19 and verse 31. Regard not them that have familiar spirits. Neither seek after wizards to be defiled by them. I am the Lord, Yahweh, your power. OK, and he's got one of those familiar spirits on him. Same people are back. Everybody's back in their lot. You know, whether you were here or forbear, whether you uh, believe it or not, everybody's back in their lot. The things that you did uh, back in, uh, in your other in your past lives, way on back before the foundations of the earth. OK. Yahweh Bashim Yahusha said, I knew you before I formed you in the belly. You see that? Everybody's doing the exact same thing they were doing. If you praying in uh, uh, Salakia, prophesying and teaching and preaching, then you was doing the same thing way back then. Okay? Same thing. Verse 32. Thou shalt rise up before the hoary head and honor the face of the old man and fear thy power, Yahweh. I am the Lord Yahweh. And if a stranger shall join with thee in your land, and those strangers are who? Hmm? The Israelites. Let's, let's read about it. Ye shall not vex him. See that? Hey, that's a uh, the, that's a, a, a key right there. Verse 34. But the stranger that dwelleth within you, it's like you're with you, shall be unto you as one born amongst you. You see that? 
and thou shalt love him as thyself. For ye were strangers in the land of Egypt. I am the Lord Yahweh, your power. You see that right there? A just wait. Ye shall do no unrighteousness in judgment, in a, in a, a met, met yard, in weight, or in measure. Just balance, just balances, just weights. A just ephod, an ephod, salakia, and a just and just hen shall ye have. I am the Lord Yahweh, your power which brought you out of the land of Egypt. Okay. Let's go here. Titus. That yeah, really did piss me off. Titus two and verse one, but speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. You know, a lot of these, a lot of these, I must keep calling them GMO babies, right? Again, they have no respect, but they, what they what they try to do is keep poking and poking and poking and poking. All right. Now, and and it's, it's, it's healthy for me. I know at least for me to take a page of uh, many pages out of the apostles book out of the, of the way they behave themselves. Look at all the things that have been said about them. People are, are, are putting up. Uh, the, uh, their, their wife's photos or where they live, uh, I don't know, phone numbers or whatever. And they just take it and move on. Why? Because the scripture said we're going to be persecuted like I just read. And men are going to hate you. Why? Because you tell the truth. See? Because you tell the truth. It's easy to get pissed off and carnal. But you, hey, you got you to hold it down. You got to hold it down the right way according to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh You see? According to the right way, the right way to do things. Hmm? Titus 2 and verse 1. But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine, that the aged men be sober, grave, temperate, sound in faith, in charity, and in patience. Okay. Oh, okay, this goes into the aged woman. Let's jump on down here. This is what I wanted to jump uh, jump down. Oh, verse six, okay. Ye young men, see that? Young men likewise exhort to be sober-minded in all things showing thyself a pattern of good works. You see that? A pattern of good works. Okay? You see that? In doctrine, in what? In doctrine showing uncorruptness, gravity, sincerity. Sound speech that cannot be condemned, that he that is uh, of the uh, contrary part may be ashamed. You see that? Contrary. Having no evil thing to say of you. Let's keep going. Exert, exhort servants to be obedient unto their own masters and to please them well in all things, not answering again. Wow. Let's see, verse 10. Not pure, a pure lining. Uh, I'm not sure what that word means. So I'm going to look it up here in a second. Let's look it up right now. That's what we do. See, I already pulled it up here. That's why we look up words. All right, so let's go to, let's see how it's G3557. Strong's G3557. Nasfidzo. Nasfizo. 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 Okay. So let's go down to um let's go down to Bible usage. There we go. Look, look, this is uh well, call Hello Yah how about Shimmy was shy. To set apart, separate, divide. You see? We can't we we can't be unequally yoked with unbelievers. Okay? Or with GMO babies or with people who just talk shit out of the side of their neck. Just for the sake of having something to say. Two, to set apart or separate for one's self. All right. Three, to uh, pure loin, embezzle, withdraw, uh, con uh, convertly and appropriate to one's own, uh, own use. Let's see what else we got here. Okay. Separate. To set apart, separate, divide, okay? 
So that's really what he's doing. Is trying to divide and again, trying to trying to poke, trying to poke and, and just poke and poke and prod until he gets something to happen. That's an attribute of an Edomite. Okay? Now I'm not saying he's an Edomite. There, I mean, if the, the, his spirit tells me hey, there's really no way he's an Edomite. He's just a crazy GMO baby, right? Okay? And this is this is this is uh this lesson is not to uh you know just uh talk crap about a certain person. It's just what he said was completely out of order. You know, and fools do hate knowledge, right? So let's keep reading. Pure, pure aligning. I'm not even sure if I'm saying that right, but showing all good fidelity that they may adorn the doctrine of Hamashiach Yahweh, our Savior, in all in all things, right? Ooh, let's keep going. Verse 11. For the grace of the Most High Yahweh that bringeth salvation has appeared to all men and all those men are who the elect and that's just what it is so if you have an ear to hear let him hear give it all praise honor and glory to the heavenly father and his only begotten son yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem rakakwadash double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone of whom we learn from daily and a healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work. Fuck this place. Salakia for the language. I just got to say it. And I mean that. Hey, DTA, Kwam Yashirwala, and Wa Abiba Ball. Every chance you get. Chant this place down. And to the two thirds, and to the ones who won't listen, to the ones who don't have sound doctrine, either you understand it or you don't. Boom. Shalom.